Being a doctor in a tourist destination, I get quite a number of patients who come to the emergency room complaining of pain after flying. Today, we will discuss why we get it and the preventive measures to avoid it. Hi, this is Dr. Ruth Estimar, ear, nose, throat, head and neck surgeon. The ear is composed of three parts. The outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The middle ear is the space behind the eardrum which is connected to the eustachian tube. This tube is responsible for supplying the middle ear space with fresh air. However, this tube flattens out during rapid changes in elevation and it can't do its job of ventilating the middle ear space. This results in the problem of equalization between the middle ear space and the external environment. When you hike a mountain, the pressure at that elevation is different from the middle ear pressure. However, because the climb is slow, your ear was able to adjust to the pressure change. Have you been in an elevator which sped up to the 40th floor? Did you feel any discomfort? Well, can you imagine being on a plane and elevating to a height of 30,000 feet in just a few minutes? When this happens, the middle ear space pressure builds up so fast and exceeds the external pressure which causes your eardrum to expand. The reverse occurs when the plane descends quickly and the middle ear pressure is less than the external environment. When this happens, a vacuum is created in the middle ear space and your eardrum is sucked inward. When this occurs, two things may happen. First, hearing loss because movement of the eardrum is limited and transmission of sound is less. Two, ear pain may occur. So, what can you do to protect your ears? First, stay awake before takeoff and landing so you can monitor how your ears feel before they start to hurt. Adults can chew gum or suck on hard candy or yawn. The eustachian tube opens and closes when you move your palate. Third, infants may suck on a pacifier or a bottle and this will have the same effect. Children can suck on a lollipop or blow bubbles through a straw. Fourth, stay hydrated before and during a flight. You can also buy special earplugs which are designed to help equalize ear pressure. For healthy adults, you can do pressure equalization exercises similar to those done when diving. This is called the Valsalva Maneuver. Take in a mouthful of air, close your mouth, pinch your nose, and gently force air out until your ears pop. Do not do this when you have colds. Instead, do the Toynbee Maneuver. Close your mouth and your nose and swallow several times. If these maneuvers do not work, it is best to consult your ear, nose, throat doctor who will look at your ears and prescribe medications to help with the pain and the ear congestion. Again, this is Dr. Ruth Estimar and we have discussed the safety measures to avoid ear pain when flying.